Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bobby Waldron and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Games Workshop's brand spanking new Primaris uh, Redemptor Dreadnought. This thing looks proper, proper badass. Um, it's around about £40. Um, it has just been released um, this July 2017. Alright, so let's have a look at the box art on the back, I suppose. Um, just on the back, I mean, it shows you off some nice, um, you know, more detail um, of the miniature. One sort of already painted up with the different weapons and, and how the front bit opens up and reveals. Um, the um, sarcophagus um, and, and all that kind of stuff as well as like some um, paint call out as well um, nice looking there you get like a nice big um, base just here I forgot how many minutes it was but still then if we move along we have our instructions which our instructions are nicely in colour um, and we've got this nice system where different colours sort of show and indicate where the different pieces go everything's all nice and nicely numbered and it's looking you know rather rather clear um, and going through the instructions right it does look like we could potentially have our legs sort of on a bit of a pivot so we can slightly maybe adjust them potentially as well as the bottom feet also um, it does look like with the arms it does tell us not to glue here so that possibly means that you know guns are going to be able to be um, moving freely um, and then we've also got different options uh, we've got this big uh, plasma incinerator thing or whatever it's called as well as some gatling guns um, on the power fist side of things you can have like um, um, the flamethrower or the the onslaught gatling cannon um, all rather rather cool uh, and it does look like we can have the torso sort of pivoting as well so uh, it does look like we can have it sort of in, in in different poses also and then again we have um the stats just at the back here which you also then have it in a lot of different languages um, and then also again as usual at the back we've got some um, where all your decals go and the colour call outs um, and, uh, and a bit more sort of a show off of the pictures then we have um, our decals themselves um, again looking really good i have used these top decals they are you know rather good a lot better than they used to be um, we've got the nice big um, sort of ultramarine symbols and all the other different bits and bobs and and all sorts of markings on here all nicely looking in registry the decals don't feel too sort of thick nice and sort of thin um, all in all good all round apart from the fact that it is just um, ultramarines on here and no other chapters so looking into the sprues we've got um, all together we've got three sprues right which are feeling quite nice solid sort of um, sprues also first sprue we have here if we look in we've got sort of like nice shoulder pads here with uh, we've got some recess um, panel lines we've got um, some raised bolts on here as well we've got uh, the feet just down here which has also got some nice lovely detail in there um, more detail just on here as you can see nice skull and all that kind of stuff going on looking good um, I'm not really seeing any sort of nasty flash or maybe any nasty eject pin marks in any sort of you know horrible places or anything like that um, second sprue um, we've got some more sort of armor plating on here some hoses some leg detail um, I mean it does look a little bit sort of complex there's lots and lots of bits to this um, but once it's all built up I mean it just does build into a rather sort of nice big um, um, dreadnought which kind of puts the the old dreadnoughts um, looking rather rather small indeed Right, then we move on to our final sprue, nice and quick. Here's some nice front detail. I mean, that is a really cool detail just on the front there. Then we have our big plasma, oh, I forgot what it's called. Um, it's the macro plasma incinerator, really nasty big big weapon just there um, those are like two halves that come together we've got the onslaught um, gatling cannon those also look rather cool nicely detailed um, as you can see lovely detail going in on in there um, 
apart from that i mean it is looking to be a really sort of uh, a fantastic piece that will will go well with your army and um, it does look like it's going to build rather well the decals look good um, it is around about 40 pounds um, you've got a nice sort of base with it as well so apart from that i mean hopefully you've enjoyed this nice quick inbox review of games workshops uh, redemptor dreadnoughts so until next time my name is bobby waldron and i'll see you next time